A group of scientists of Moscow, headed by Gennady Kiknadze, has developed a new class of tornado-like vortex flows, which are created either under the influence of specially directed gas or liquid jets, or when the jets flow past the surface relief made in the shape of three-dimensional concavities craters. One of the methods of creation of man-made tornadoes is the construction of special tornado chambers in which the liquid or gas continuum is delivered through a system of radially convergent curvilinear ducts, the shape of which is determined by means of exact non-steady state solutions of hydrodynamical equations. Moving along such ducts, the streams of the continuum particles assume velocities the direction and value of which depend on the tornado creation conditions. As these jets merge into one flow in the tornado chamber, they self-organize to form a tornado-like flow, described by the indicated exact solution of the non-steady state hydrodynamical equations. The adequacy of these solutions to the nature of tornado-like vortex flows is testified by the results of the investigations of the shapes of dust tornadoes that we have studied in the Karakum Desert, as well as of powerful destructive tornadoes photographed by other authors in various regions of the world. The essence of the investigations consists in the determination of the shape of the lines of flow in the longitudinal radial plane of the tornado. The use of the exact solutions of the indicated hydrodynamical equations makes it possible to restore the relative distribution of the vortex flow radial and longitudinal velocities. The lines of flow determined by the indicated solutions testify to the fact that in the direction of the radial convergence of the tornado, there is a constancy of the product of the jet longitudinal coordinate determined from its visually selected origin by the square of the tornado radius r determined in the section normal to its longitudinal axis. Presented in the frame is the procedure of the tornado convergence with the appropriate curvilinear system of coordinates in which the z-axis in the tornado longitudinal radial plane coincides with its axis of symmetry. The measurements of the longitudinal z-coordinate and radius r which corresponds to this coordinate and is normal to the axis of symmetry, testify to the fact that the shapes of a large number of natural tornadoes, which have been analyzed in accordance with the above scheme, comply with the ZR squared constant law, which is observed in these vortex flows with a high degree of accuracy. We have thus available a method of calculation and construction of man-made self-organizing tornado-like flows in gases and liquids, in their tube phase and multi-component streams, which are adequate to natural vortex flows as far as their character is concerned. The given method makes it possible to create swirling flows so as to exclude practically the origination of secondary vortexes in them, directed across the main swirled jet. In this sense, tornado-like jets created on the base of the indicated exact solutions are actually vortex-free. The experiments carried out with the employment of the equipment created on these principles have shown that the pressure discharge characteristics of the tornado chambers exceed similar characteristics of flows created by the use of other known methods. In other words, the tornado-like jets are a favorable example of the conversion of low potential flows into swirling flows and relatively low pressures are required for the self-organization of the flows. The construction of their tornado chambers developed by the Bassard MTI company combine organically the possibility of concentration of the continuum energy dissipated in the surrounding space, the laminarization of the created flow and the higher effectiveness of its power conversion. Watching the operation of the tornado-type power-generating unit, we see that the unit fully converts the energy of the delivered gas flow into mechanical energy. This is revealed by the relative rotation of the turbine and tornado chamber, which concentrates the flow energy into a tornado and creates a laminarized swirling flow. A concentration of the power of slow-flowing gases or liquids for instance, of a wind blowing at a velocity of 2 to 7 meters per second is obtained in the tornado-like energy conversion units by means of special shape confusers, which pick up the wind and direct it into the tornado chamber. 
Moving in transit of the confuser, mainly along the trajectories formed by the shape of the confuser surface, the air particles get accelerated, ensuring a pressure gradient directed inside the tornado chamber. Due to this pressure gradient, the tornado light jet sucks in the air streams from the surrounding space, the volume of which considerably exceeds that of the tornado chamber. Naturally, in this case, the particle velocity inside the tornado is higher than the average velocity of the wind flowing onto the confuser. The surface of the given unit is shaped so as to reduce the losses of the particle kinetic energy in flowing past this unit. The created tornado light jet gets onto the turbine blade and transmits its concentrated power to the turbine. Thus, the jet energy is converted into mechanical energy. The practice of creation of tornado-like flows, which are generated in special towers and use the energy of the inflowing wind, has already been employed in the gas or liquid jet energy conversion methods. Such systems were first developed by U.S. specialists and called by them TWES, abbreviations of Tornado Wind Energy Systems. As distinguished from the TWES, the construction of which does not permit smooth joining of the lines of flow outside the tower with the lines of flow of the vortex created inside the tower, the tornado equipment offered by our company ensures such joining due to the exact solution of the hydrodynamical equations. This makes it possible to exclude additional losses caused by the deviation of the line of flow as well as by